Welcome everybody, I'm Alexander Linz, head of content of WatchAdvisor.com. Reporting live from the SIH 2019, I am at the booth or at the, let's say, installation of Cartier because it's the biggest booth here on uh, the SIH. It's a huge, really huge uh, uh, section and part of the SIH. It's separated in watches and jewelry, high jewelry. There's a museum, a little museum you can discover. If it's gorgeous to be here. And uh, Cartier this year went uh, in direction of a watch that I did not, uh, it, it, it could have been kind of a missing link in the collection, I think. Because now um, there's an interpretation of the Santos that was launched last year uh, called Santos Dumont. And the Santos Dumont watch refers much more to the uh, DNA of the uh, watch that was presented in 19. 04, 1904, back in the time, um, Louis Cartier uh, did a watch for the uh, aviation pioneer Santos Dumont, who was quite, let's, let me say it in a friendly way and in a, in, a, in, a, in a good way, a crazy guy, because he really, he was trying everything that could fly and really was a kind of, a, of an, an aviation pioneer. And he was, uh, he holded a record in uh, performing, I think, the first 200 meters in a certain time. And he really was a, an amazing guy. And he approached uh, Cartier and said, please make me a wristwatch. Give me a watch that I can wear on the wrist so I don't need to pick up my pocket watch all the time and look on it if I do something. And it was Cartier who said, okay, you get the answer, you get, my, you get a watch. And it was the Santos, it was for Santos Dumont, the famous guy um, uh, in 1904 when Cartier presented the watch. And I think it's historically speaking, the most, uh, one of the oldest known or, or wristwatches today when you talk about watch that is still on the market today. And the Santos Dumont collection uh, is here in front of me. I start with a, a, a small one. It's um, very thin, it's refined. Uh, shaped to perfectly fit on your on your wrist um, the collection uses quartz movements um, but the particular quartz movement uh, Cartier has worked very much on the power reserve power reserve in terms of how long the battery will last until you will have to change the battery normally this is kind of a period of three years but now by improving the quality of the batteries by improving the uh, energy consumption of the movement itself that is produced in-house in the group at Richemont for Cartier. So it's not a movement coming from outside. It's a movement that is produced, manufactured in the group. The power reserve or the, the battery time is about six years. So that's not bad at all when you wear such a watch. And you have two sizes. I just gonna show them into the camera. A smaller one and a bigger one. I would say um, in Europe, the watches would fit perfectly on a women's wrist. And in Asia, those watches or in countries with smaller wrists, these, these watches could be the size for women and for men, depending on the tastes, of course. And the interesting thing is, if we go uh, for the small version, the small version starts around 3,000, uh, even now under 3,000, 2,100 without, ta without taxes. And we are around uh, 3,000 and something in the men's size, so that's pretty reasonable for a Cartier, you get a Cartier watch. And when we go uh, further on to the gold watch, we are arriving in a small size, around 8,000 watches. And I've been told the, uh, the big version or the, the, the bigger version uh, in full gold is around 9,000. So it's pretty reasonable. The entire pricing is below uh, 10,000 euros, starting at around 2,900 and something. Um, uh, for this Santos Dumont watch. What I like is the fact that uh, with such a watch, honestly speaking, uh, Cartier is attacking a field that was open to other brands until today. So um, people who were thinking to buy, let's say, a product from, uh, from another group or from another manufacturer and that has or that doesn't have such a good name as Cartier will double think now if they would go for a Cartier. Uh, why not buying a Cartier and probably spending some 500 euros or 200 or some hundred euros more and getting a real Cartier? And this will endanger, in my opinion, some of those companies who felt, felt very comfortable in the past selling their watches in a segment where Cartier has not been. But today, I think a lot of con uh, consumers or uh, in buyers or, or uh, people who are interested in buying such a watch will think twice and say, okay, I'll put some 
extra money or maybe I don't even spend so much I go for a Cartier and I get they're good they get a really good watch improved battery imp uh, uh, lifetime improved uh, case uh, the cases the case uh, quality and everything is the haptics are excellent if you put the watch on your wrist it's really due to the fact that it's shaped it really sits perf perfectly on a wrist and it's a good watch no doubt so well done Cartier for this I have to say, uh, as they say, the French say chapeau. And I think this watch uh, will really be, uh, let's say, kind of a, um, um, a little bomb that will go into the markets. And I think some of the other companies, uh, maybe some, some um, people from other manufacturers are watching right now. People, be aware, Cartier is coming. Thanks for watching. Um, the new Santos Dumont from Cartier will be on the markets, I uh, suppose, right after the SHH in April, May, something like this. And uh, thanks for watching once again. If you like what we are doing, don't forget to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. I always say video channel. We are doing videos on YouTube, so <laughs> please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos, of course. And if you have any comments to make on these watches, use the comment section just underneath here. Thanks for watching.